Inside these two boxes are about 60 cards from our most recent CGC cards grading submission. I sent off a bunch of Pokemon cards that I really personally like, a few that I want to save for the future, and a few that are just cool kind of rare cards that I picked up here and there. We sent these off in our never-ending search for submitting our very first CGC 10. Did that search pay off today? What's going on everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, that God loves you, and that there was an awesome plan for your life. Like I said, we sent off all of these cards. This is our next bulk, bulk submission. Uh, I sent this off around February, March, so that's about how long it took to get back. I don't really have any other bulk submissions pending because grading is really crazy right now, but really searching for my very first submitted CGC 10, really hoping that I'll have one of these in here because that's just something really cool. A goal that I want to obtain is having my very first CGC 10 that I submitted myself. You'll notice on the back wall back there, uh, I do have two CGC 10s that I purchased myself that I'm very, very proud of, that I absolutely love those cards, but let's rip into all of these and see if we can actually get our first CGC 10 submission. If this is your first time here and you like all things Pokemon, I try to bring you guys two to three videos a week on Pokemon, so make sure to hit that subscription button so you don't miss anything. Let me know down in the comments below, guys, if you have any grading card submissions that you're waiting on. Okay, we're going to do the first box first because I think this is the box of cards that do not have subgrades. Uh, and through the magic of editing, we're going to get through this Fort Knox of a box and uh, have all the cards for you guys to look at real quick. Alrighty, guys, and like I said, through the magic of editing, we have all of these cards boom right here and convenient for us to look at now you may remember I did a video when I bought a bunch of these cards saying I was going to ship them off to be graded and here we go so we're just going to run through them and see what we get see if we're going to get uh, any tens uh, and I think most of these are one specific type of card like I said these are the ones with no subgrades that I honestly just graded these to save for the future these are going to go on my closet and be saved for a long time uh, because really I was just hoping to find a 10. So let's see, let's go with our first one, see what it is that we're going to get. Oh, and by the way, if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and you actually want to take home one of these cards and win one of these, drop a comment down below and let me know what was the first video on my Pokemon channel that you came across that made you decide to subscribe. Do that and I will pick one winner from a random comment picker and you will win one of these cards that I'm about to show off, okay? Also, join the channel. If you wanna be a part of the Collecting with Dr. Applesauce Pokemon YouTube channel, click that join button. We're gonna start doing a lot more giveaways, a lot more cool perks for people that are joined up. I think you can join for like three or $4 a month. And it'll be a great way to support the channel. So don't forget to enter the giveaway. Let's see what our first card is. And it is a, oh, a CGC eight Charizard V promo. That is a bad grade to be honest with you. But like I said, I sent off a bunch of these because I really like the card. Uh, and I just want to save them for the future. So let's see. Our second one is a nine. Okay. I think the highest grade I have in this, the box that they sent it in just had dust all in it. I think the highest grade that I have this card is a uh, 9.5. So hunting for that 10. That's what we're doing today, guys. We are hunting for that 10. All right, let's see. And another nine. Okay. CGC nine Charizard. Boom. I think it's a beautiful card. Like I said, I really do think uh, in the future they will be nice to have. And we have next up is a boom. Ooh, 9.5. There we go. I should have put subgrades on these. I didn't put subgrades on these Charizards. I don't know why. I'm a bit of a doof. Uh, 9.5. If we could get a 10, that would make daddy really, really happy. Sorry, I'm being a goober. <laughs> All right. Next one is an 8. All right. There's an 8. I wonder why we're getting 8. Who knows? These promos. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, a big old ding right there on the bottom. How did I miss? How in the world did I miss that? Yeah, that deserves an eight for sure. So far, two eights, two nines, and a 9.5. Next one is a 8.5. All right, not bad, not bad. We're going to put the 8.5 on top of the eight. And the rest of the submission, don't worry, is, uh, is not all Charizards. We got ourselves another nine. Okay, next up is a another nine. CGC is like rife with nines. Their tens are so hard to get. Another nine, wow. <laughs> I figured that most of them would be nines. And, ooh, okay, another 9.5. 
three, two, and another 9.5. Okay. Come on, give me one 10. I want a 10 of this card for my personal collection because I really do like it. All right, and a nine. Let's get a 10 and boom, 8.5. Okay, and like I said, remember the giveaway. I'm gonna give away one of these to one of you guys uh, if you follow the instructions lined out earlier in the video. Boom, another nine. Can we get a 10? And psh, nine, so many nines. I bet the person grading this was like, Who's this noob that's sending all these Charizard promos in? I like the cards, what can I say? I like them, they're gonna go in a box and they're gonna get saved for a long time. Next up, three, two, one, another nine. Woo. Three left for a chance at a 10. Three, two, and ooh, ouch, seven. That's bad. That, honest to goodness, I cannot believe I missed that. All right, two more chances at a 10. Three, two, and one, and another nine. Can we get a 10 in our Charizards? Last pack magic, last slab magic, three, two, and 9.5, oh man, okay. Hey, that's not bad. We got four 9.5s, I mean, that's not terrible. Four 9.5s, not bad with this. I absolutely love this Charizard card. I think it's really cool, and since Champion's Path is a specialty set, they're, you know, obviously one day they'll stop printing it, and so I predict that this will be a promo that is really, really nice. I think I bought all of these for like five to ten dollars each, so this is just my prediction that this is going to end up being a really sought-after card. Follow the instructions said earlier in the video, and uh, this CGC 9 Charizard V could be yours. All right, into the second box, the much larger box. Okay, let's crack this bad boy open. Okay, we've got the next bit. So this is a, a little bit bigger of a chunk than we had in the first spot, okay? A couple Japanese cards and then a couple cards that I just thought were really, really cool. So uh, again, hunting for that elusive CGC 10, hoping to get my first ever submitted CGC 10. Let's see what we're gonna get. Let's see what we're gonna get with our first card. Three, two, it's been so long, I don't even remember what all of these are. Three, two, and one, and an 8.5 Zamazenta Amazing Rare. I've, got, I've told you guys many times I love Amazing Rares, and I sent off a bunch of them to get graded. We got an 8.5 on centering surface, corners is a 9.5, and edges an 8.5. So 8.5 on that one right there. Let's see what we're gonna get next. I kind of mixed them all up, so they're probably not in order, or they are in order. <laughs> a 9.5, so I do already have a 9.5 on my Rayquaza, so I'm kind of hoping to get 9.5s across the board, and then at least I can display them all like nice and like in order as 9.5s. Uh, but we got a nine on centering, 9.5, so that's a weak 9.5, but still a 9.5 uh, nonetheless. I'll, I'll take it for sure. What do we have next? And, ooh, a 9.5 on Celebi. Yeah, okay, we're three there. I have a 9.5 on Celebi, a 9.5 on Zamazenta, and a 9.5 on Rayquaza. And this, my friends, is actually what you would call a strong 9.5. We have two tens. You have three tens, and then that is a pristine 10. So nice 9.5 Celebi. I will take that all day, every day. Next up, we have a 8.5 Rayquaza. Bummer. We already have a 9.5 Rayquaza, though, so that's okay. Like I said, I love amazing rares, and I wanted to grade all these because I like them a whole lot. And I hope and am speculating that they'll be valuable way in the future. But if not, I think they're so cool that I don't really care. 9.5 Celebi. Nice. This one is not as strong as the other one. We have three 9.5s and a 9 instead of two 10s, a 9.5 and a 9. But still, it's another 9.5 Celebi. That's, uh, that's okay by me. Boom. Ooh, a Mint 9 Raikou. Looks like we have a 10 on corners and the surface... The surface dinged us on that one. Up we have is a nine on, my, I forgot I send this. This was a gift. Uh, this was a gift from somebody and I had to send it in to be graded. And a nine, I guess I'm not upset with that. A 10 would have been amazing. Uh, this is the Vivid Voltage Charizard promo from the pre-release bundles. So a nine isn't bad at all. Nine, nine, nine across the board, and then a 9.5, which doesn't surprise me because it, you know, got shipped multiple ways, got shipped to me, got shipped to CGC, got shipped to a bunch of different places. So a nine on this Charizard, pretty cool. Beautiful card, gorgeous, gorgeous Charizard. Uh, I think the Lugia is in here as well. So we'll see what we get on the Lugia. And there, there's Lugia, we got a nine. 9.5, 9.5, 9.5. So there you go. These would never be sold. These were gifts. These were incredibly kind gifts that these will always be saved for my personal collection. 
uh, they're not ever gonna go anywhere. So I graded them because one of the reasons I grade cards is because I like to preserve them. So, all right, next up we have a boom. Ooh, a nine Rayquaza, okay. All right, next up, ah, yes, ooh, an 8.5. That's honestly better than I was expecting for this card. So this is the Toys R Us Evolutions promo of the Charmander, okay? Beautiful, beautiful card here. It's got a bunch of schmutz all over the all over the slab because the, the way they sent the box was really weird. Uh, I actually won this in a giveaway from Yizzy Pokemon, and uh, it's got this holographic, so it's the base set Charmander artwork from Evolutions with holographic and then the Toys R Us stamp. I honestly was not expecting it to get an 8.5, so this is actually, for me, this is really, really nice. This is a great, a great grade for me personally. Um, it does have some, probably you can see some scratches on the hollow foil. Uh, surface is an eight, corners are 8.5, edges, yeah, so 8.5 for me is great because I, again, it's one of those cards that has a special memory because I won this card, it would never go anywhere, I would never sell it, I would always gonna keep it, and I was honestly hoping for an eight on this card, so an 8.5 is uh, is really good for me. Okay, we got a couple Japanese cards. Let's see what we can get. Three, two, and... Oh, it's my Kanazawa Pikachu, an eight. That is a bit of a bummer. This card, a big... Uh, I bought this card from somebody who told me they, they were shipping from a US address, and they didn't tell me that they were posted on a military base in Japan, so it took like seven weeks to get here. Uh, and then I just think it's a beautiful card. I love Pikachu. Uh, 7.5 on the surface, that's a bummer. Uh, an 8 is a little bit of a disappointment, but still uh, still a beautiful card. And, uh, you know, not one that I ever intended to sell, just wanted to have for my collection. Kanazawa Pikachu, beautiful. What else do we have? I think we have a couple Illustrator Charizards in here, and psh, there, there, speak speak of the Illustrator Charizard, and he shall appear. 9.5. We got 110, two 9.5s, and a 9. These uh, ship straight from Japan to me. I think this is another one. Psh, and a nine, bummer. All right, still hunting for that elusive 10, guys. Still hunting for that elusive 10. What's up next? 9.5 Zamazenta, okay, another 9.5. Ah, very cool. I need a 9.5 Raikou and a 9.5 Zacian, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be looking really good to have a, a set of 9.5s across the board. So far, guys, out of everything that I've graded, drop me a comment down below on what is your favorite. Okay, next up we have nine Zacian. Need that 9.5 so I can have the 9.5 set. Hey, I'll take a 10. <laughs> I'll take a 10. Don't get me wrong. I'll be happy to take a 10. So what do we have here? A nine Zamazenta. We have a 9.5s, another 9.5 Zamazenta. Nice. 9.5. Some of these 9.5s, I may make a test video. Let me know what you guys think about this. Those of y'all that are still watching, I may make a test video where I send off C cards that were graded CGC 9.5s, strong 9.5s, send them off to PSA and see if they come back 10s and document the entire video. That could be something really cool. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like that. Next up, we have a nine Zacian. See if we can get one today. Ooh, and a nine Jirachi. I need a 9.5 Jirachi too. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, obviously, lots of amazing rares because I love amazing rares, clearly. And boom, ah, there's our 9.5 Zacian, yeah! Okay, so we just need a 9.5 Jirachi and a 9.5 Raikou, and then we have all six of them in 9.5s, which is actually something I really wanted because I got a, uh, a 9.5 Rayquaza from a bulk submission a long, long time ago. So a 9.5 Zacian is actually really, really good for me. All righty, let's see what we have here. And a nine Jirachi. We need that 9.5. This is insane. It's a nine with two tens. Wow, because the surface got an 8.5. That is so close. All right, 9.5 Jirachi, here we go. Oh, another nine with more tens. Holy cow. Come on, CGC, give me that 9.5. All right, we got two stacks left. Still no CGC 10. Let's see what we got here. And a nine Raikou. I'm starting to feel like we're not gonna get the 9.5 Jirachi and Raikou. Let's see on this next one, 7.5 Raikou, ugh. All right, let's get it. Ooh, I forgot I sent this off. An eight. Now, something that I disagree with this, okay? 
Uh, so my wife actually pulled this from Burning Shadows. So I graded it because it was a secret rare that she pulled and she doesn't open Pokemon cards a lot. This is the gold fairy energy. Centering nine, surface eight, edges nine, corners 9.5. Um, I think they dinged me for that right there. And that's not my bad. If I don't know if you'll be able to tell. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. But this actually, it's stamped so hard, like the fairy uh, energy symbol is stamped so hard that it's stamped through the card. And that little tiny corner issue right there, maybe, but whatever. An eight is cool because this is just, you know, it was something cool that my wife pulled and her favorite color is pink. And so I was glad uh, that she pulled that and I thought, heck, let's grade it. So there you go. I forgot I sent that one off. All right, next up we have a nine Raikou, come on. It's next up. Ooh, nine on the secret rare Galarian, uh, not Galarian, uh, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX from Hidden Fates. This is actually my buddy Luke's. I submitted it for him. I got an 8.5, a 9, a 10, and a 9.5. Not bad. Very nice. Very nice. All right, what do we have here? I think I submitted three cards for Luke. And Luke with a 9 on his reverse hollow Charizard from Vivid Voltage. So two 9s for Luke so far. And let's see what the next one is. Maybe it's Luke's, and it is Luke's. It's the Black Star promo from Hidden Fates, the Charizard. And it's a nine as well. Luke getting all the nine. Oh, I mean, I guess we're getting a lot of nines in this submission, to be honest with you. Alrighty, and this last one of that pile is a another nine. So these were Luke's, uh, the four that I submitted for Luke. Luke, nines across the board. I mean, 9.5s or 10s would be better, but I mean, nine, nines aren't bad. Nines across the board, brother. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. 8.5 Rayquaza. That's not what I need. And boom, nine Rayquaza. That's not what I need. Oh my goodness, boom. And a nine Charizard GX from Burning Shadows. That is mine. I did pull that myself. I actually pulled that the same day uh, that my wife pulled this one because we were opening packs together. So that's actually kind of cool. I wanted to grade them both because uh, we got, and look at this, it's nines across the board. So that's like a straight up nine right there for sure. Straight up nine. All right, let's adjust it all. It's huge submission. We have three cards left. This Japanese card I'm assuming is my last illustrator Charizard. Can we get a 10? Ah, it's another nine. I like CGC. I am starting to get it's very, very crazy how hard it is to get a 10. That's why I made a video a while back with all these cards that I'm going to send off to PSA because I want to get a 10. Like, PSA, some of these 9.5s would have been 10s. I don't know. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. But uh, CGC is... is I, I like the way CGC slabs look. They're my favorite slabs. Two slabs left. Can we get a 10 of anything? Can we get a 9.5 Jirachi and a 9.5 Raikou so I can have a full... 9.5 amazing rare set let's see second to last one boom wow that's bad six on the surface holy cow how did that happen what did we get a six on the surface i'm trying to see where we got a six on the surface let me know if y'all are seeing something i'm not seeing i'm not seeing uh i'm not seeing anything on the surface that would cause a six no dings nothing like that so y'all let me know i don't know I don't know if that's an appropriate grade or not. We'll see. Well, we're not gonna get a 9.5 Jirachi and a 9.5 Raikou. We got nines. My OCD is gonna drive me crazy about that. Last card, last chance to get a CGC 10. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I like CGC. This probably is the last CGC bulk submission I'm ever gonna do, simply because CGC bulk is so expensive now with subgrades. It's like $25 for one card. Whenever PSA opens again, CGC will be more expensive than PSA because the uh, benefit of going with CGC is to get subgrades because PSA doesn't do subgrades. So to be honest, that is a huge factor for me. This may be my last ever uh, CGC submission simply because their bulk has gone so expensive. Uh, and if PSA is cheaper, I'm gonna go with PSA. So there was a lot of factors that went into, into me sending these to CGC. CGC was a little bit cheaper, CGC was available, but if CGC is gonna be more expensive than PSA with subgrades, I'm gonna go with PSA every day. So I have that huge submission that I made a video on showing y'all that. Uh, so we'll send those to PSA one day and maybe three years from now we'll have a returns video. Last card, can we get a 10 or a 9.5 Jirachi or Raikou? Let's see, three, two, one. Oh, Celebi, 
Celebi, Celebi, Celebi. You're beautiful, but not what I was looking for. So here's the spread. Lots of cool cards. Um, lots of 9.5s. This is gorgeous, man. These these are my my favorite four right here uh, of the whole submission. Uh, just because one, I like the cards, and two, they have special sentimental meaning behind them as gifts or prizes or one of my favorite Pokemon uh, of all time. So uh, definitely happy with these. Love to know. Drop me a comment down below and let me know out of all of these, which were your favorites and make sure to enter the giveaway that I lined out earlier. Uh, and I'll choose a random comment picker and uh, somebody will be taking home this CGC 9 Charizard. But guys, it sure does seem, this is my third bulk submission to CGC, tons of 9.5s, tons of 9s. Uh, it seems really near impossible to get any 10s from CGC, which is okay. There's lots of cool cards here. I just, the, the pursuit, the hunt of wanting a 10 is what makes me keep trying and trying and trying. So. We'll see in the future. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think about CGC. Would you submit with them at $25 a card with subgrades or would you go to PSA instead? All right, my friends, well, I hope I earned your subscription today. I hope you will check out some of these videos. Lots of great videos I know you guys will enjoy. If you haven't already, hit that subscription button and that notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up because likes are free and it really does help. And like I always say, find somebody to love and serve today and be the change you want to see in the world. We'll see you next time.